Hey everybody, what's going on? And welcome to another video. And before we get started today, as always, I would just like to give a big welcome to all my new subscribers and everybody who's been leaving comments in my videos. I've really enjoyed reading them and just kind of getting to know all of you guys. And just, I just wanted to say thank you all. I really appreciate you all for being here. And one other thing I wanna do before we get started is I need to give a quick shout out to somebody in my comments section. Her name in YouTube is Lisa D. Lisa D, she was very helpful in my video showing my Olympic. I had, a, I had a journal from a lady who sailed on the Olympic in the 20s and I was having some issues trying to read it. And she was very helpful in helping me to understand a few things about it. So Lisa, thank you, I really appreciate it. All right, and as always everybody, please hit that subscribe button and please give my video a like. All right, everybody, let's get into today's topic. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Titanic's band. And more specifically, we're gonna talk about the Near My God to the Legend. And we're gonna discuss it and try to separate fact from fiction a little bit and really try to dive in and know exactly what happened that night. The man you see in this picture, his name is Wallace Hartley, and he is the band leader on board the RMS Titanic. And the first step into answering the puzzle of Near My God to Thee is actually solved by just doing a little bit of background investigation into Wallace Hartley himself. It's impossible to say for certain that Near My God To Thee was the song that the band played the night the Titanic sank, the last song that they played as the Titanic was sinking to be more specific. But we can say with some degree of probability that it, it probably was. And we know that by a couple of ways. Number one, before the Titanic sank, before Wallace Hartley joined the ship, some previous uh, bandmates of his, people who had played with him in the past who weren't with him on the Titanic, he had remarked to them that if he was ever on a sinking ship, he would probably play one of two songs. He would either play Near My God To Thee, or he could also play Our God, Our Help in Ages Past. He said that if he was ever on a sinking ship, he would play one of those two songs. So there is one area that, you know, he's on a sinking ship, he's thinking about it, he might actually play Near My God To Thee. The next bit of evidence that talks about the whole band playing Near My God to Thee comes from a Titanic survivor named Eva Hart. This is a picture of her, she's the little girl in the middle, and she was seven years old on the night the Titanic sank, and her testimony, she did an interview in the 80s or 90s, and she gave some incredible insight into the actions of the band on the night the Titanic sank. When I was doing research for this video, I happened across an interview that Eva Hart had done uh, talking about um, the band itself and Near My God To Thee. So what I'm going to do for the next part of this video is I'm actually going to play her testimony. So the voice and what you're about to hear is from an interview that she did before she passed talking about the band on the night the Titanic sank. The band now played a solemn air. Some say autumn. But popular belief says it was nearer my God to thee. Well, there's no question about the fact that they played and there's no question about the fact that after we were down on the water and they were playing they played one um, version of the hymn near my god to of which there are three i had this out so many times and the one they played was the one that was played in church some months after when i was there with my grandmother and i was so frightened i came out of church i ran out i knew the tune so well but they won't have it the americans won't have it people say no no it's not it just right time Eva Hart has one of the most incredible stories from the Titanic disaster and I plan to make a dedicated video about her but to summarize a little bit Eva Hart was on board the Titanic with her mother and father and her dad did not survive the sinking so Eva Hart is in the lifeboat at around age seven and she hears this band start to play this song and as she's watching the Titanic going down she resonates that song with the sinking of the ship now, at the time, she didn't know what the song was, so it didn't leave that much of an impression. And then sometime after the sinking, she's in church with her family, and she hears the exact same song being played, and she gets overwhelmed with all this emotion that she has to run out of the church because it scared her so much. So, that right there, she said in that video that it was the same version of Near My God To Thee that they play in church. So she recognized Near My God To Thee from what she heard in church. And that is another clue to what happened that night and what the band played right before the Titanic sank. So when you take both what Wallace Hartley said he would do and Eva Hart's testimony, and there was countless other testimony from other Titanic survivors that I don't have time to get into in this video, 
In conclusion, I really do think that Near My God to Thee was the last song that the band played as the Titanic was sinking in her final stages. But now that brings up another question. What version of Near My God to Thee did the band play as the Titanic was sinking? This is the version of Near My God to Thee that most people associate with Titanic from the feature film. This is the American version of Near My God to Thee. Another popular candidate is the version that was played in the 1958 Titanic film A Night to Remember. This film is considered to be the most accurate recreation of the Titanic disaster. This is the British version of the song. Now, both versions of this song, it is possible that either or of these could have been played by the band that night. But there is an important clue that could shed a little bit more light on this topic. Wallace Hartley was a Methodist, and there is a Methodist version of Near My God to Thee. So if you take that into account, and you take into account what Eva Hart said, she said that the version she heard was the same version she played in church, that they, that they played in church. So based on that, I believe personally that it was the Methodist version of Near My God to Thee that the band played the night the Titanic sang. I'll play a short clip of it now. Listen to the full version of that song. I'll put a link in the description below. It's really, really good. But yeah, so based on all the information I was able to collect and gather and just, you know, hearing testimony and reading about Wallace Hartley and his behavior and what he liked, I really believe that Near My God to Thee was played the night the Titanic sank. And I really believe that it was the Methodist version that they played right before the ship sank. So, but as I said, this is all just guesswork and theory. We can never be 100% certain. It's hard to piece together the events of something 108 years, almost 109, after the fact. But it's still fun to try to figure it out and try to piece together and to preserve the memory of the Titanic. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, to all my new subscribers and everybody who's been commenting on my videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And we do have a giveaway going on. Uh, click the, go back into my video library and you'll see that I'm actually giving away a piece of Titanic coal. So if you'd like to sign up for that, there's a video on it on how to do everything. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.